I've always liked the idea of collecting pets. Not only do they look cool, but when trying to obtain all the pets in the game, you can make millions, even billions of gold. Well, that's what I want to do. To get my POH from this, to this, while increasing my bank value into the billions. So I chose to start off with the Bloodhound, a pet which you can only obtain from Master Clue Scrolls. And if I'm lucky enough, maybe I can get some Third Age. But I guess we'll just have to find out. How's it going everyone? I hope you're all doing well and welcome to another clue casket opening video. Today I've got more hard clue caskets for you and a couple of nice surprises that happened which I'm pretty happy about. If you're new to the channel, I'm trying to obtain all the pets in the game and I'm currently trying to get the Bloodhound pet. And the way to get the Bloodhound pet if you don't know is to open Master Caskets which has a 1 in 1000 chance at receiving the Bloodhound. However, I'm doing something a little bit different and that's that I'm not opening any master caskets that I get until I have a total of 500 of them. In the last video, we opened up 420 hard caskets and received a total of 37 master clues during that opening, which was awesome. And I'm currently sitting on 397 master caskets. And this week, I'm going to be opening up 300 hard caskets for you, and hopefully, we get some good RNG with these. Last week, I had collected hard clues by way of opening nature impling jars, which have a drop rate of 1 in 100 to receive a hard clue. However, this week, I'm going to be switching to magpie impling jars and these have a drop rate of 1 in 50 to receive a hard clue, which is half the rate compared to nature's. In total, I opened 14,771 magpie impling jars this week, which cost me about 18,100 gold each for a total price of about 267.3 million gold. Since the drop rate of hard clues for magpie imps is 1 in 50, this means on average I should have received about 295 hard clues, which means since I received a total of 300, I was just a little bit lucky and received 5 more than expected. Now I don't think I'll profit this week since magpie implings are more expensive than nature implings, however keep in mind that when you guys see the total price later on in the video of the loot I received, this will not include the loot received from master clues since I have yet to open any of them. If we take a look at the old school runescape wiki page, it does say that the current GE prices opening a magpie impling jar gives about 15,133 gold worth of loot on average, and you lose about 3,154 gold just to receive a hard clue. However, this does not include the loot from hard clue caskets. When we look at the hard clue loot table, it shows that currently on average hard clues are worth about 151,556 gold and again since I'm not opening the master caskets just yet I can't include the loot for that for now so you could definitely tell if you watched last week's video that the prices do change pretty consistently all right that's enough talk about numbers and gold let's go ahead and get on to this week's hard clue casket opening
All right, before we continue and show you the loot that I received from the hard casket, let me go over the loot that I received from just opening the Magpie Ms. Now, if you remember, I did open a total of 14,771 Magpie Impling Jars for a total of 300 hard caskets, and I paid roughly 18,100 gold each for a total of 267.3 mil spent on this. When we take a look at the loot received from opening these Magpie Ms, it shows that we've actually made roughly 223.4 mil which is definitely a lot more than I expected however let me go ahead and throw all of these up onto the Grand Exchange and see how much we really get back Okay, after selling everything in the Grand Exchange, we actually got back about 218.4 mil, which still is a lot more than I expected to get back. Uh, if we subtract that number from 267.3 mil, which is what it costs us to buy the Magpie Imps, we get about 48.9 million gold. This means that we need to get about that much or hopefully more in order to at least break even or profit and hopefully we can profit without counting the master caskets. But before we get into that, let me go ahead and show you guys the collection log. I don't know if you guys noticed, but we did receive two new collection log items for hard clues, and I'll go over that here in just a second. However, we did get a duplicate Gilded Full Helm, which is, you know, kind of sucky. I wish it was another one, but we did get the Gilded Square Shield, which is new for the collection log. And if you didn't know, uh, we also got at the same time uh, the Bandos Dehide God Shield, which is really cool. I don't know what the luck is for that. I'm going to throw it up on the screen here. Uh, if you know the math for how lucky this is or what the RNG is for this clue, definitely comment down below because I'm very curious. I'm not too good at the math with that but i thought it was pretty cool to get a gilded square shield and a bandos dehyde shield in the same casket so if we take a look at the hard treasure trails collection log i am only missing the armadillo dehyde shield to complete the regular unique table from the hard clues themselves not counting the mega rares of course because third age and gilded are way harder to get uh, but if you didn't know jagex is going to separate the gilded and the third age into their own own little tab so once they do that I will only need one more item left to complete the hard treasure trails collection log so that's pretty cool but let's go ahead and actually head over to the bank here and take a look at the hard clue loot that we received this week and see what we got uh, obviously the purple sweets are in the, the teleports and fire laters are from previous openings that I've done and as you can see at the top left we are at currently 416 master caskets which means this week we received 19 master clues which is a bit less than last week however that makes sense because i had less hard clues to open but i'm still happy we are less than 100 caskets away from the big 500 so if you guys really want to see the 500 casket opening live be sure to check out the link in the description below for my twitch and you can follow me there but taking a look at the clues that we've received or the loot that we've received from the clues um feel free to pause at any time i don't want to go over for every single individual item also I'm sorry that it's a mess I promise I will try and organize this just a little bit but let's go ahead and I'm gonna take everything out sell everything and see how much we made from the hard clues Okay, so after selling all of the hard clue cask and loot, we ended up getting about 32 million gold. However, I did make sure to take a look and track how many purple sweets and teleports we received this week to get a more accurate number for how much I made. So when we add all of these up, it looks like we get about 42.1 mil just from the hard casket loot this week, which unfortunately means we're short of about 6 mil or so in terms of breaking even so we definitely didn't profit unfortunately however we did get 19 master caskets so if we were to open those we'd most likely make a profit considering the average loot for master caskets is roughly 790,000 gold each currently but of course the master caskets will be in their own video in the future so when we add the gold earned back from the magpie m's and the gold made from the hard caskets we get about 260.5 mil so again we didn't immediately profit this week however when we open those master caskets i'm sure we will make that gold back 
But that wraps it up for this week's video. I hope that you enjoyed. Don't forget to check out the description down below to follow me on my social channels. Everywhere you look, it's I'm a Drum. And if uh, you want to see me open these Master Caskets live, all 500 of them in the next few weeks, again, follow me on my Twitch. The link will be in the description down below. But that's it. Like I said, I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you guys next time.